funny, praise the Lord, but this is why we have um, our black, Latino uh, population incarcerated. This is why mass killings is going on, Amen. because there's no structure. Amen. But back to the story when Jesus was speaking to the disciples, he told them, unless you be transformed as children, yes. <laughs> you can't go to heaven. And therefore, this is why I said that we are children of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, with that being said, if we look at the definition of a mother, I'm pretty sure we all may have our own special definitions of a mother, but if we look at the definition that Google has given us, praise the Lord for Google, it says the now uh, definition would be a woman in relation to her child or children. The verb, bring up, whether a child with care and affection. So it's very important to understand that when we use the church as a symbolism of a mother, uh, it is in correspondence of a relation with us. How can you have a relationship with somebody you never see? Praise the Lord. How can you have a relationship with somebody that you never visit? Oh, hallelujah. Somebody that you're not willing to work with. And this is why the church is of importance. See, a lot of people think uh, with this new millennium area that we're in, technology is at an all-time high that we no know, we know longer need to go to church. What a devil is a lie! And the Bible says so in this very scripture in Galatians. It's needed that we go to church. The church also can represent a hospital. Some of us are still sick with some of our problems because we are scared to go to hell. But this is what the church is supposed to be. The church is not supposed to be entertainment. It's not supposed to be social hour. Praise the Lord. Amen. The church is designed to help us. The church is designed to care for us. The church is designed to make us better Christians. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. We need to get to a place, as I talked about last week, where we can humble ourselves. Praise the Lord. You have to remember that Jesus was of yet a young age. And all the disciples were in question if this was even the Messiah. So some would say, was Jesus not yet younger than the disciples? The Bible doesn't get specifically on age. We do know that um, John and Jesus, because they were cousins, um, and because they were at the womb at the same time, the Bible does declare that it is possible that they are around the same age. But we have to get into a place where we are willing to humble ourselves, wherever it's coming from, that we too can receive direction, that we too can receive guidance, that we too, if we humble ourselves, maybe somebody will be willing to help us. Let the church say amen. Amen. If we look at the definition, once again, the Google definition of church, it says a building used for public Christian worship. And we can worship God all the time. Worship God while we're driving. Worship God at home, at our own comfort. Worship God. Some of us even worship God some, sometimes at work. There's nothing wrong with this. But the church was designed for the very reason for you to come here and worship. Amen. So then we get back to the definition because Galatians chapter 4 verse 26 if we understand that I already stated that Jerusalem is representing the church and if we look at the definition of mother it says a woman in relation to her child so this is a relationship right? so then if we look at the definition of a church a building used for public Christian worship how can you have a relationship if you don't talk to that person? Amen. Oh, y'all mighty quiet in this Presbyterian Lutheran 
Methodist Church this morning. You can be mad out there. I'm apostolic to the bristle. If you cut me wide open, you might see an amen. Let the church say amen. amen. We have to understand that you have to have a relationship with the church. And it says the way you talk or communicate is with your worship. You should be willing to praise God, worship God, be joyful in God. You should enter the gates yeah. with thanksgiving. The gate is the doors. When you hit the sanctuary, you should already have a praise on your tongue and your mouth. Even if it's just, I thank God I woke up this morning. Because there's a lot of people that didn't wake up. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And I thank God for my mom. The years that I have with her. Because everybody that doesn't have a mother. And definitely didn't have a mother of, of the characteristics that my mom dwell. But let's go and look at the Bible definition because we cannot base our uh, walk with Jesus with Google. <laughs> Let the church say amen. amen. The Bible definition of the church, it says the Lord's house. Mm-hmm. And it even says in the book of Acts, assembly. It refers to the church as an assembly. What is an assembly? We already know that the church is considered God's house. And that's why people say, well, Pastor Williams, your church is growing. Uh, you just built a balcony in it. And you, got, you have a vision. And this is God's house. God gives me a vision, and then I put the vision as best as I can into place. Praise the Lord.